Hey everyone, welcome back to a Photoshop basics tutorial. In this video we're just going to look at how to move something in Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're working on a new layer. So let's say you've got whatever it is you want to move, like this perfectly drawn circle. The easiest option would be to select the transform tool up here in the top left corner. So once I've got that selected, you can quite literally drag. So this is me holding a click down and moving. Whilst you're on this tool, you can also use your arrow keys. So this is me holding down left and right, but you can move bit by bit just by tapping it once. If I zoom in a bit just to show you that, because it's quite a small movement, so this is a really good way to nudge it. Obviously it's only ideal for nudging it a little bit that way. Another option, if you don't want to have to select the tool, you can hold down control on your keyboard. And whilst you've got control selected, you can again click, or I'm using my pen on my tablet in the same way as before, as long as I've got control held down, that works fine. Again, like before, if you hold down control, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it. So I use this way more often. It's just a little bit easier working with shortcuts or hotkeys compared to selecting the tool on the left hand side. One other thing to note with all these options is you can also hold down shift on your keyboard at the same time as control, for example, and that allows you to move it, but only in a straight line. So you can move it vertical, horizontal and diagonal. Again, that comes in handy quite a lot. Last of all, if you don't want to keep hold of the hotkey, you can press Ctrl and T to select your layer or whatever it is you want to move. And again, like before, you can use the arrow keys, you can click and drag, or you can hold down Shift and move like that. So that's it, guys. Really easy. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see next. And of course, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.